Hello, my name is Eric Vespi. I write as Quint on Any Cool News, and welcome to Studio SX. With me, I have the cast of Kick Ass. To my left is Aaron Johnson, and Chloe Moritz, yeah. and Chris Mintz Plus. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. How are yeah, you guys I'm doing? doing this whole interview in British. In British? Just to be cool like him. I'm a British pastor. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Chloe Moretz. I'm, uh, I'm from South Kensington. Uh, oh. Are oh, we doing it? All right, yeah. we can do the whole yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I, That's I, all right. I'm Dave Blasowski. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, um, we, we need top hats and canes. That's right. That's yeah. the only thing we're missing. <laughs> I'm done with this. Too jokey. OK. Uh, um. <clears throat> cool. Well, uh, how did you guys like the, uh, the screening last night? Did it go, go over well? Yeah, I mean, Amazing. The, the atmosphere was electric, and um, you know it was great to be the audience you know, in, in with the audience because the energy was uh, crazy. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it went down really, really well, and uh, we're really happy to be there. So. Yep. Was this the first time you guys have seen the finished finished movie? I've seen it. I saw it at Buttonomathon. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw it here last night. You, she's I've yet to see it. I've never seen it. I was BBMing her during the screening, like you're totally missing out, <laughs> he's Chloe. Like, me. He's like. Oh my gosh, they're plotting. It's so cool. They're loving you, Claire, and you're not here to see it. I was kind of being I was being very mean to her. I was like, I'm in a car ride eating Jack in the Box and watching Mulan. Dot dot dot. Nice. So um now now see most of us normies don't get a chance to ever wear a superhero costume, and if we do, we look really, really stupid. Um, uh, I looked pretty stupid in my. <laughs> I was gonna say. I, but I don't know. You, it's kind of sleek, man. I, Thanks, I think, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, but. I have to, especially with a movie like this, when you get into a costume, it has to somehow impact how you're approaching the character. So I was wondering what it was like for the first time you guys actually donned your superhero outfits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I take that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, my character, David Lazuski, is, uh, you know, the idea of he's a bit of a nobody kid and, uh, and you know, he creates kick -ass. It's this, uh, this persona and this person he wants to be. and. Um, you know, it's 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 pretty pathetic, but yet you know it's quite an imaginative and uh, and uh, and it was uh, it was great fun. I mean, you know, experimenting in uh, a wetsuit and trying to fight in a wetsuit all the time with Timberlands on. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I had good fun. You know, I, I didn't really have much gadgets. Had two sticks. I mean, well, did you find did you find that actually wearing the mask and, and holding the sticks and like kind of told yeah, you how definitely. to how to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you kind of automatically put on uh, a different. You feel a bit more heroic. I exactly. Guess. Yeah. That's the point. Uh, and I guess yeah. that's you know that was the point, and that's how we had to feel. And, uh, and it, you did feel like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about what about Hit Girl? <laughs> um, how much of? Well, the first time I put the suit on, it was very ill-fitting. Yeah. It was really funny. It was like a bunch of baggy leather. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second time I tried it on, it was like you know amazing. It was completely form-fitting and like. They had that my gigantic like Gatling thing, which yeah. was like these crazy like so knives cool. and ropes <laughs> and throwing stars yeah, and, like, and grenades. grenades and stuff. I mean, so if she fell over, like she'd just blow herself up. <laughs> <laughs> like, she'd roll on herself yep. straight away. Yep. Exactly, and be like stabbed and be like blowing up and <laughs> being shot. Right. Pretty amazing though, because I have like blades on the back of my boots. What about nice. you? I don't have blades on the back of my boots. I did not. <laughs> but you have a rad car. Yeah, the the Mist Mobile. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And he's got a I'm so six jealous pack of that. Well. He, has a six he pack does. Pack I have a f it's, it's fake. I want to let you guys no, know it's, it's a real. fake six pack. <laughs> he is built. Can you see these like these <laughs> arms? Come on, flex. airbrush. She loves airbrush. to pick on me. Come on, flex. <laughs> Yeah. See, see Chloe, right? She had to do like uh, twenty chin ups every hour. A day, yeah. So, um, <laughs> So by the end of it, yeah, she could take both of us down. Mm -hmm. Well, and we that's her character, know, isn't it? We used to wrestle a lot. It was <laughs> quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. We always fought. I'd let her win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> not in public. Not in public. <clears throat> uh, well, Chloe, you. Smart, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you in particular, like, I think when people see the movie, they ask themselves, like, in quick succession, who's that girl playing, playing Hit Girl? And then they go and. You know, and her parents are the coolest parents in the world to let her play <laughs> play this role. Was, was there anything I that? Agree. Yeah. Was there anything that? Your parents uh, are way cooler than my parents. <laughs> yeah. Well, was there any anything uh, that was too much, even you know, for you or your um, your parents? Because you 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 say well, some pretty. 
colorful stuff. Yeah. It's, it's a role, you know, yeah. it's not me. Yeah, yeah. Know, we're a very religious family, you know, and yeah. it's nothing like me. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't have lies, you murder people if every I day. I did a third of the stuff I do in this movie. I would be grounded until I was 90 prison. years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in prison. Grounded in prison. This one. Yeah. But how was that relationship? Was your uh, do you have your your parents on set? Uh, with yeah, you the of whole course. Time? My yeah. mom goes everywhere with me. My yeah. my uh, dad came to visit. My brothers came to visit. It was a happy family, uh, you know, environment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> guns, stuntmen. Um, Explosives. You know what? That one time, it was the whole studio was laced with like um, we couldn't have oh, mobile yeah. phones. We couldn't oh, have a phone in there because right. the, uh, like, the things would would blow up. That's right. Oh, because they they had yeah. the, uh, the, the squids, yeah. squids would blow and the radio signals. Would you know? I, yeah. Th that's all the fun stuff. That's yeah, exactly. Stuff you yeah. read in you know like uh, Fangoria and Cine Fantastique and all that stuff. Insane. That's uh, that's crazy. So no no uh, no iPhones. You can't have your nope. iPhone. Or Blackberries. Or Blackberries. Blackberries. Yeah. Blackberry. Are you an iPhone or Blackberry? I'm an iPhone. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry. What about BBM? What do you do with BBM? He doesn't. He doesn't I, understand. I don't even. Uh, yeah. I don't. Get I don't. You're speaking you? another language you? to me right now. <laughs> See, this is the Blackberry family. And well, that's that's like, why you guys are over here, and I'm kind of exactly. sitting, sitting over here although, by myself. Although, you know, if, you know if, can Blackberry start doing apps the way iPhones do? Uh, I, mean, the app, the I can play Scrabble with like 20 app. people. At the I same love time. Scrabble on the iPhone. Sorry, so off subject. Let's get I back to like Kickass. <laughs> we could get Kickass apps for the iPhone. Maybe we could yeah. start doing some of those. Yeah, I probably will create maybe. that. I think we need I'll to get tell on Matthew that. Matthew about mm -hmm. that. They got a lock stock one. As well, what, what was Matthew uh, like? How did he work, interact with you guys to bring? Yeah, because with a movie like this in particular, you you have like this uh, heightened reality, but it's also got to be something that the audience can can connect with, and that's kind of the whole point of Kickass: is that it's almost like a real world superhero thing yeah. that then goes super crazy, of course. Well, I like <laughs> yeah. the idea that like, you yeah. know Mark Miller said as well. You know, like if Spider-Man was put in these circumstances. You'd know he's gonna survive. If Superman was gonna be put in these circumstances, he'd survive. Yeah. But like when Kickass, you know, he'd get punched really hardly, he'd be out, or if he got shot, he's dead. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, and that's what they have to live up to all, all the time. Even Hit Girl, you know. Um, Not invincible and, with people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and I guess the idea that you know Hit Girl is sort of overrun by um, the idea it's a game, and so <laughs> she's just kind of it's more sort of like she's been sort of really mentally brainwashed. So. It's you kind know, of like, oh, it's all she knows. She's not, she's pretty, I mean, she's fearless, so, no. you know, and, uh, and I guess some people can possibly relate to that, being fearless, but, uh, <laughs> but, but most people are going to feel, you know, like, David Terrified. Zuzky, you know, yeah. like, you know, in a costume and like, this is ridiculous, completely insane, <laughs> and, um, and what have I got myself into? Yeah. Matthew, and, as a director, is, you know, is brilliant, I mean, mm -hmm. he's, uh, not just a great director, but a producer, and, and, and you know, he really, um, he wrote, pulled, he really pulled this wrote together, this and co-wrote, yeah. obviously, but he, he really pulled this together, I mean, like, I'm sure you've heard that, you know, studios have, it went around the studios first, and they knocked it back and said, you know, I didn't believe in it, and then he was like, fine, what, well, you know, I believe in it, so I'm going to make it my own, and in, independently funded it, and, and then, and then went back to the, you know, the studios and distribute it in that way. And, uh, I can't imagine this. You gotta have risk yeah. and balls. And you gotta be a pretty good gambler, and, yeah. and, and and he knows exactly what he wants. And and I mean, he's a fantastic. Um, you know, he was he was a great director, and uh, he he. Um, you know, the idea that he just needed to keep it all kind of real and natural. And the moment we kind of looked slightly off, it was. Uh, we get shouted at really. <laughs> yeah. he, he and Chris, he pretty much say that he we was on our ass. every day. Yep. To be honest, uh, yep. Chloe was uh, always on. Always one take brilliant. wonder. Yeah, <laughs> one take wonder. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I can only hope to yeah. live up to you know being a, an amazing actress. I try. <laughs> I try really You're hard. You're good. You're good. She doesn't need to try that hard. Yeah. yeah. Good. No, I mean you steal you steal the movie. You got, oh, I gotta say, man. no offense. Hey, we're sitting right here. Guys, these guys are amazing. I, they, they they are. They're really great. They oh, right. And I and I think uh, it's like a side dish to the main. Dish. Exactly. Yeah. I'm the no. mashed taters. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> taters. You're the like green the beans. The but but I. Uh, yeah, going asparagus, very flimsy. <laughs> without without the. Lobby asparagus. Without going in this. That's what we are. This lobby asparagus. <laughs> on the side. 
Friend. Well, without going, in a, without going into any spoilers, though, you uh, it looks like your character's going to have a lot more to do in the sequel. I'm hoping, yeah. So it's, yeah, um, you know, with, knock on wood, there is yeah. a sequel. Well, we want this I, one to do well. And, I, I don't yeah. know if you, you saw the line around the Paramount yesterday. It was longer than any line I've seen for you. Awesome, nice. So it's, uh, no, Mark I, Miller I and Matthew have, have some very great and very dark ideas, ideas for the sequel. I mean, yeah. We just hope that, you know, I mean... I really, I know this is going to live up to the, the comic book fans, uh, you know, expectations, and, and it'd be great if, you know, they go see the film and then it sparks off uh, everyone else too, and then uh, it would give us the ability to do a sequel, and um, and and they have got some really incredible ideas, yeah. which I think everybody should start, you know, would, would want to know, because <laughs> it, it gets pretty mental. I mean, Mark yeah. Miller's mind's so uh, out elaborate there. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and really out there, yeah, uh, and dark, and, uh, you know, Red Miss is gonna is his character is in in for a revenge and uh, it's gonna get really dark. So uh. <laughs> well, well, I mean your character is really interesting to me. Uh, I mean you're known mostly for your your comic work and you're really funny in the Thank movie, you. but you. but you have a much darker side. You're you're kind of a torn character. You're being Thanks, torn man. between. Exactly. Between like I really like our fr my friendship with Kickass, but I want to be in with my father. You know, I want to yeah. get into the business. So I'm really torn between that. And yeah. Was that something that attracted you to the... Completely. is. And I've part? never, ever been a part of something like this, like an action movie or anything. And the fact that they just sent me the script was like an honor. And I went in and read for Matthew, audition, and I got the part. And it's been, it's yeah. been great ever since. Well, uh, we ha have to talk about uh, Nicolas Cage, too, because he's... Yeah. Your, your relationship, the, the father-daughter relationship there is so sweet. So good. And so crazy and, and off-kilter. But it has this weird, like, leave it to beaver feel to it, you know, where it's like this <laughs> genuine, honest you know, nice loving relationship, well, except, you know, you guys, instead of going out fishing, you're going out and, you well, know, like cutting Matt, people's heads Like Matthew off, Vaughn so. said on the panel, you know, he was like, um, you know, it's a very loving relationship. He loves his daughter, he cares for her, and that's why he trained her so well. That way she can survive in this world that they're in. You know, and he, you know, I feel like he's, in the movie, he, you know, is a little off kilter, but at the same time, he knows what he wants, and he knows what he's doing, and his wife, I'm, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That would be a little bit different kind of movie. <laughs> yeah, his, uh, Let's not talk about that. <laughs> his, he trains his daughter to be a killing machine, and she knows no better. Cool. All right, well, I think uh, they're, we get, we're getting the wrap-up signal already. So, uh, what? But thanks, you guys. It's for, me doing it too. No, it's actually this. I've, I've never Eric, seen it that before. Let's go. <laughs> I'm waiting yeah. for the cane to come, to come pull us off. But, uh, I feel like thank it's you. the Lady Gaga monster symbol. <laughs> wrap it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love you, Lady Gaga. Okay, nice. Fine. All right, well, uh, thank you guys for, uh, for sitting down with me. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Eric. You know, and uh, good luck with the movie. Thanks, man. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.